<clears throat> Good morning. Um, this is really my final thoughts on the video I made called Legacy. I know this is the second one, I'm not milking it really, but a different topic really. It's so strange how seeing online, and just, we don't, do we really teach people how to take criticism really well? Because this is the first time I've really had any controversy, you know? Like, it's incredibly minor, but um, the video I made is getting around, like, near 3,000 views now. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but for me that's quite a lot. And I'm getting a lot of good feedback on it. I'm also getting the feedback, of course, people have seen, that the ending wasn't great because I framed it that Smash Brothers Ultimate was as good as Project M, which is something I disagree with. I think Project M is more fun, of course, but that's all been said and done. But so I just heard the criticism and I listened to it. And even though maybe some people got a bit more passionate about things, I just listened to it and I validated it and said, yeah, I probably should have done it differently. I didn't do anything stupid. I didn't disable the comments. I didn't take the video down. I didn't blame people. I didn't say I was being harassed by people. I didn't say all oh, these people are just being dicks. I can see why they got passionate about it. And I just said, oh, yeah, I agree with you. Oh, that, that's the fridge timer already. But um, it just, it's so easy. It's so easy to respond to criticism. Just, you just have to be like the most basically reasonable person. It, I, how do people, like, how do big YouTubers mess it up so much all the time? Like, what, when you reach a certain level of popularity, is there just worms start crawling in your brain? Like, it's so easy. You just literally you just say, like, even though some people are getting really passionate about it, okay, that's time or two, people are getting really passionate about it, you, you just say, I hear you out. That's it. There you go.